Hey what's up YouTube, this is the productive one here with another video and in today's video I'm going to do an update on my previous video it was showing you how to use your computer as a wireless line for your Xbox now I got a whole bunch of dislikes, well not a whole bunch of dislikes but a whole bunch of disrespectful comments and negative comments because of how dark it was um, I was like 13, 12, 13 when I made the video uh, actually, you can click. It's right here on my second monitor. Click there, and you can you can watch it. Um, but yeah, people were just talking about, oh, look at that nigger. He blends in with the darkness or something like that. It was just unnecessary comments. You can tell that I was young because I have my gay little polite voice. Like I, my voice is really high when I was younger. Um, but yeah, now you can see everything. I updated. I have a better camera, better lighting. See, that was a forty dollar camera. This one. $200. So, yeah, it's a big difference. You can talk all the stuff you want to talk, but I have videos that's way over. Actually, all people, let me actually see, because I think the video is over. Okay, so I just checked on my YouTube account, and it actually has over uh, 7,000 views. So, thank you to all the negative comments, all that good stuff, because it has 7,000 views. And I, I didn't monetize it. I just monetized it like 10 seconds ago. I don't know why I didn't, but. It's my ties now, hopefully, if they approve it. Um, but yeah, this is the updated video. It's so simple to do this. But yeah, um, first you need an Ethernet port. Um, then you need a computer with a wireless LAN or Wi Fi. Um, and it has to have an Ethernet port, I mean, Ethernet um, plug on it too. Uh, now I, I would recommend wireless in because that's the fastest wireless I would work now. I think, pretty sure. If if not, you can. Use, I have wireless D and it's perfect. Um, it's I usually experience no lag. Sometimes I do, but I have a pretty good connection. With my wire, wire, um, router is like across the hall, and it's pretty good. Um, but wireless in should be better. You should experience pretty much no lag, uh, and it's free too. For the people with the old Xbox, the first one I show, I'm, I'm about to jump on my computer. Um, you're about to see my screen. Uh, I need to show you how to bridge the connections in case you didn't know how to do that. Yes, you have to bridge, bridge the connection. Well, let me list. Let me list. All right, let me, right, right there, right there. Number one, get necessary cables and other stuff. Go on, make, go on your computer and bridge your uh, wireless LAN with your LAN. Plug the uh, Ethernet cord into your the back of your computer and your Xbox, and power your Xbox on and be happy. Set up with Xbox Live if you don't already have it set up, and download the updates. All right, so now we're on my computer. First thing you want to do is go to um, your network places. Um, I have Windows XP Professional, so I go to it like this. I remember one Home Edition. I think it had my network places right here and Windows 7 and Vista uh, I think it's the same way you have to get to this area right here in order to do it I don't know because I don't have it but you want to make sure you have a wireless network connection and a local area connection when I had those two the reason it has an X on this because this is my desktop I use my laptop to get the internet on my Xbox because my laptop is on pretty much all the time because it runs my second monitor and it's pretty much like a server so it's on like it's on like 22 out of 5 days <laughs> but yeah you want to select both of these just drag it and right click and bridge connections I'm not going to do it but once you do it it's going to have like a loaded screen right here it's going to say bridging connections and then you're going to have um, a connection pop up right here and that's pretty much all you have to do it automatically set up an IP and everything for you, but you can you can manually you can manually do it um, by going to properties. This is wireless, but you know you go to Internet Protocol properties, and then you can do that. But you have to do that on the bridge connection. Once you uh, have it bridged, you won't be able to get all these settings because it's bridged. And yeah, like I said, it's simple. That's like pretty much as simple as you can get. So now you have the. Um your network connection bridge. Let me actually show you on my laptop since I have Maxi Vista. It makes it easier to show you guys. 
All right, so there's the bridge right there. It says 11 because I bridged it 11 times because sometimes you may run into problems like your Xbox won't connect to because, boom. But it still connects. I don't know why, why that keeps coming up, but I haven't worried about it because it connects. But, um, yeah, sometimes you have problems. And what I do is I just delete it, delete the uh, Necro Bridge, and then um, rebridge it. See, as you can see, I did that 11 times. Uh, sometimes it gets annoying, sometimes it don't. I haven't, I haven't had to do that in like a month though. So it's been running nice. It has a an X or a cancel or whatever sign right there because my Xbox not on. But let's go ahead and, well, first you need to plug your Ethernet cord in, which is right here now. Go ahead and bring it across to your Xbox. So walk it on and plug it into your Xbox. And to make sure your TV's on, if your TV not on, you can't use your Xbox. So let's turn TV on. Please wait. Let me get the controller. Go to the input. All right, now get the battery pack. And go ahead and hit the center button. And watch, it's gonna it's gonna boot right into Xbox Live. Awesomeness. It's coming on. It's coming on now. Xbox is in fact on. Get ready to close. Plug this phone in. And we're on Xbox Live. So yeah, it's pretty. It's, that's as simple as you can get, and it's free. Only problem is their computer has to be on for Xbox Live to work. Duh. Some people may be tired it and don't understand that. Go to network settings, just check your stuff. And as you can see, it's wired. Go to that. And you can configure it, you can test it. Take, test PC connection. I never, I haven't got that work to work because I don't have Windows Vita Center. But yeah, here's my IP and stuff. I don't know if that's, you can actually do something with that, so I'm gonna just blur it out. I don't think you can really, no, 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 I'm tired it, I'm tired it. And an additional setting. So yeah, yeah SS Live and uh, works. You can see the menu. I'm, this is really old. I mean, people. I know people want to say, "Well, it's just not doing this." I didn't make the video like two years ago. Somebody sent me because what is this? What is that? What? Let, let's see what they say on camera. I hate when people do that. They're trying to do like a a, a clan or something. I don't want to join your clan. I'm in no clan. I want to be in a clan because people are not as good as me. I'm not trying to be trying to brag or anything, but I am pretty good at Minecraft for three. But yeah, anyway, um, oh, my gamer tag is Productive Pro. In case you didn't see, where is it? Oh, you can't see it. Where is it? Oh, there it is. So I'm your expert, but anyway, you finally get this. The video update. I was gonna do it a long time ago, but I didn't do it. So peace. Subscribe. Let's see if we can get this video over seven thousand, like the old one. Hopefully we can. Like this video and share it. Peace.